Hey, great to see you this week. We are rounding the corner to Valentine's Day or Galentine's Day, depending on how you plan to celebrate. And I wanted to do a makeup tutorial for you and get outside the box. And when I say outside the box, I do mean outside the box. So I went to my local Ulta and I decided to buy products that I have never used before on this channel. And I decided to stay $20 and under because I have done drugstore beauty before and we have definitely found out that you can have an amazing look without having to spend a fortune. So I thought, wow, this is going to be so great because it's new product and it's under a certain price point. So I'm, I'm excited to launch in. I'm not gonna waste any time. Um, you've gotta get ready for Valentine's Day and it's important that you have the time for you. So here we go. Um, the primer that I am starting with, everything is like no filter, no filter this, no filter that. So it just sort of lured me in like a moth to a flame, no, no filter. Um, a product I have not tried before is ColourPop. So this is no filter by ColourPop. It's their primer. And we're gonna give it a whirl and see what it does. Has a nice creamy texture to it. I've already moisturized, kind of done everything I needed to do, put on some eye cream before I do this makeup look. So this is a blurring primer, but it doesn't have that sort of chalky veil that some of those blurring primers can have. This one feels like it's hydrating a bit, which I really, really like, and I think you will too. Um, but again, hashtag no filter. The foundation is Morphe filter effect. <laughs> Seriously, how many times am I gonna say the word filter in this video? Soft focus foundation, medium to full coverage, and my shade is filter tan, <laughs> number 17. I think that's already three times I've used the word filter. Let me get my sponge. Oh, look, staying in the Valentine's theme, it's purple. Let's give it a whirl. Might take a few pumps, again, right out of the box. I hope it's gonna match again. You can never really color test, but let's see. Oh yeah. That's pretty stinking good. Nice. I'm liking the coverage. Doesn't feel chalky. You know, I wanted something that will do well at night and I didn't want it to be uh, too, too heavy, too overly mattifying because I know a lot of you say you don't like that and that it dries too much and settles into the lines. So I'm trying to strike a nice um, happy medium here with this. Could not have lucked out any better on this color match. It's a toss up between this one and another one. And the other one had just a little bit more of a reddish tinge to it. And I thought, you know, I've got a little more color on my skin. Maybe you should lean that way, but I forget, you know, how kind of yellow golden I am and not so red. I'm a neutral. matches perfectly. Look at that. Covered up freckles. I always like to do just a little at the end, a little light covering over my mouth. I just think it really helps with having the lipstick color pop and read right. You know, we forget that our lip tones are all so different. And that's why people say, oh, well, you know, this lipstick looked great on the model or great on my friend and it looks horrible on me. And some of us have more pigment in our lips than others. Some of us have more blue tone, some red, and it really, really changes the way a lipstick can wear. So that's why I always like to just kind of, you know, cover up the color. And that just gives the lipstick a better chance of working out. I did not, did not get an eyelid primer, but I really, everybody's been raving about this makeup revolution um, conceal and define. I cannot believe I read that without glasses. That's a miracle. Um, anyway, it's a creaseless 
type of a concealer and it's so popular they only had one shade left and I figured and it's very very light as you can see so I thought all right I'm just going to use that as an eyelid primer and I can use it as a little bit of a highlight color if I need to as well so we go in and this will be a real nice see how light it is actually this is a perfect eyelid primer for me every product will be in the description portion and if you saw my technology video last week you know where the description portion is and how to find all of these products um, so i hope you caught that video tried to kind of break down the basics on you know technology youtube social media especially that's where i was getting the most questions um, from you guys you know how do i find this i don't understand when you say that what does it mean and granted you know it, it it's a whole new world out there and there is terminology and ways of doing things and i guess you know for the younger generation it's just so intuitive they just know um, but for us we need a template <laughs> so anyway um, i just tried to help out with that but anywho this color i believe is C3. Man, I'm beginning to impress myself here. C3. So it is on the lighter side. So if you are fair skinned, this will be a great concealer. What's nice about this one is that it does dry. It's not a super hydrating concealer, which is why I'm going to use it as a uh, primer. I'm going to move on to eyebrows. I'm still with um, NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen in Espresso. I figure, why deviate? Yes, I bought all new stuff, but I didn't have to buy a new eyebrow pen. I just like this one too much. So anyway, I just go in. And you know, I've only said this a million times. Just sort of go up, follow your um, hair growth pattern. If you've lost some hairs from the top or the bottom, which generally we have, and we're kind of down to a, a little line. Um, I just love these pens because they, they just look more natural to me as opposed to a shadow or a gel. I think it can just get too thick. And then what's really cool about this is that if you do get a heavy hand or it gets a little thick in an area, you can just take a spoolie and sort of soften it and buff it, and that will fix the problem. I hope you guys have some nice plans for Valentine's Day. And you know what? Even if you don't, can I encourage you just to get ready for you? You know, put yourself together. Do your makeup. Make yourself feel pretty. And celebrate. Get yourself some flowers. You know, there are a lot of women who do that. And I love that. I admire that. Um, if they don't have a special someone or... You know, nobody there. Get yourself flowers. Get somebody else flowers who might be in that situation and could really use a boost or a smile. So I think it's an opportunity to do for you and to do for somebody and make them feel loved. Because that's what this is all about. You know, not, not so much the, the commercialism and, you know, how crazy these holidays have gotten to make us spend gobs of money. You know, it could just be time. It could be a card. It could be a little flower bouquet that you picked up at the grocery store, whatever. It's just, I'm thinking of you and my heart is full because of you. And I think that goes a long way in my book. Okay. I literally, I've got a pile, <laughs> a pile of stuff. Okay. So uh, we're going to move on to the eyeshadow now and Morphe 9G Sunrise Glow is the palette du jour and um, I figured it had such really pretty colors for Valentine's Day as you can see a lot of sort of purple pink little burnt rusty color dark brown some other interesting colors for non Valentine's Day so I figured it just gave options as opposed to a pink and purple type of a palette <laughs> so anyway here we go um, I think I'm just going to play into these pinks. I'm going to do a very soft pink um, type of a look. I think it 
universally may complement more um, skin tones and also just people's taste. You know, the whole red lip thing, especially the matte red lip, the young generation, they love that and they pull it off so beautifully, you know, with that great skin and a bright, bold lip and a strong brow. And, you know, it's just so in style and on point, but for us, it can be awfully aging and it's frustrating because, you know, you want to do a trend sometimes and it's like, dang it, this just makes me look awful. So that's when you got to back away, back away from the trends and do you. This is a nice color. And there are a couple of shimmery colors in here. I think I'm primarily going to stick with the matte just because it works best for us ladies over 50. We won't have to worry about anything settling in. I may, there's one little sparkle. I may kick it on the inner corner of the eye. I'm undecided. I'm going to think it through and we'll see how all this plays out. But that's really, really nice. There's kind of this cool mustard color that I'm, I'm dying to get into. I don't know. I don't know. I hope it didn't screw it up, but I really, really like it. It's, it's this one right here on the outside and it's a matte and it's a mustard. And you know, it's in this palette together for a reason. So I don't know. Let me just kind of play a little bit above, see what I get. If I bring this up higher, kind of opens up the eye a little bit more, sort of this mauve and mustard might work well together and then I'll soften it out. Alrighty then. Um, next up, a little bit of this rust color. Oh, they're all so pretty. I feel like I just want to play in everything. I'm just going to kick that a little bit on the outside. And then the darkest one on the end, we're going to block in on the outside. Colors are great, pigmentation awesome. So really, really happy with this choice. Using that mustard color again, just to lift a little bit. And soften the dark color as I go out. So there's a matte, well, I think it is. Kind of, it's not as sparkly as that, that's for sure. So it's, it's, it could be a little tiny pearlescent, but it's, it's the whitish color up top. So we're gonna do a little brow, brow hug with that one. All right, let's see what I wanna do here. I did get a new pencil from NYX. It's called Two Timer. And it's got a smudge, kind of a crayon pencil on one end and a liquid fine eyeliner on the other. Two for the price of one. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna top line with the black smudgy side. I think it's waterproof if I'm not mistaken. You know, just in case somebody makes you cry, you know, you get such a nice gift. It's like, oh, you shouldn't have. <laughs> You should be good. Remember, just run it underneath, smudge into the lash line. That trick works, works best for us when we uh, lose some space on the eyelid. And you don't want to cover up the pretty work that you've done in the colors from the palette. Now there's a part of me you see that is a little, just a little bit more curious with this mustard color. I don't know what it is, but it's, it's pulling me in. So I'm gonna try, you know how I like to smudge a little bit of color in the lower lash line, but not too deep, but just enough to give some depth. Cool, why not? And then I want to pop that mauve color again. So I'm just going to hit that real quick. A 
Really neat palette. A little more mustard, Colonel Mustard. <laughs> you know, some of you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and then some of you are like, huh? But I think most of you know. Sometimes, if, you know, I'll go light-handed just to make sure. And then, you know, if you don't like something, then it's easy to redo. But if you do like the colors, then you can always do a second layer to deepen. And with the eyeshadow, I uh, went over a little bit my brow. So I'm just going to fill that back in, especially on the bottom. mascara. Where'd you go? Ah, okay. Lift and Define So Lash Extra Dimension Mascara by Makeup Revolution. Said it did great things on the box. You know, you got to trust the box. It's got one of the thin wands um, for separation which I like because it really pulls out those individual lashes and gives some length. So I can tell it's doing that. You know, sometimes they say black is black, but it, it's not, you know, you can tell a difference. I really, really, really like a super black mascara. So I'm not doing lash extensions, so I need all the depth here I can get. And we are going to do a little wispy Lash strip. Come on, it's Halloween, y'all. I mean, <laughs> Valentine's Day. <gasps> well, we would do a lash strip for Halloween too, so. If you want, you can just play this video over at Halloween. Just, you know, look like a Barbie princess in pink. Get her on nice and good. As we say here in Texas. Great mascara if you love um, length and separation. So I'm real happy with this. You know, it finds those little hairs that are hiding out, the ones that have no color. And then all of a sudden you put mascara on them and it's like, aha, I didn't know I had you. Cool. Okay, that gave us some nice lashes. Now, I don't know. Um, concealer. And again, um, Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. So as opposed to the Makeup Revolution that was Conceal and Define, this one was more mattifying. This one compares a lot to the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Mattifies, doesn't show creases, all of that. So this one has just rave reviews. This one hydrates more. So uh, we ladies might prefer it. Let's give her a whirl. Um, what color is this? C10. Let's see how we like it. It's funny, a little, it's a little bit pinkier than I normally go for. Um, but again, their selection was super limited, but it's Halloween. <laughs> I mean, why do I keep saying it's Halloween? It's Valentine's Day. So maybe having a pink tone concealer is a good thing. I don't know. I swear my years are a blur. Do you have that? Or is that just menopause? I don't know. Could just be my life and menopause. <laughs> it's Halloween. No, it's Valentine's Day. No, wait, it's Halloween. Where did the year go? I love actually the finish on this. I love it. I still find that it's, it's not super, super creamy, um, but it definitely is a little more hydrating than the other one. I want just a hair more coverage where I've got my circles but lovely, lovely concealer. I'll also use this as a nice highlighter too. 
And then sometimes I just kind of tap it if I want a lot of it to stay. This is a little brush by e.l.f. that I picked up. Um, and I really, I like the size of it. It's small and it gets into those crevices really well. Um, you know, here in the inner corner of the eye, sometimes the brushes are a little too big. Great highlight um, as well. So I'm just kind of hitting the areas where I'd normally highlight. Really just overall, I'm just, I'm so impressed. Honest to goodness, I'm so, so impressed. Mm. Okay, uh, let's do these lashes by Eyelure. They're three quarter length. Uh, I'm definitely gonna need glasses for this. Number 0 0.015, Light and Wispy, comes with its little lash glue as well. And that's great because you don't have to buy lash glue. I need scissors. I have scissors. Okay. I love three quarter length. Why? Because I always have to cut a quarter off of most eyelashes. They are just too long for my eyes, but this is an absolute perfect length. So and look, it's, you got your own little individual tiny tube. It's labeled left and right. So in we go. Mascara has already dried. I probably should use my glasses for this, but I think I'm doing okay. Let's let it hang for a little bit. Get tacky. Okay, now I'm gonna come in. Sometimes I've gotta pull back and look in the big mirror and see. May need to sneak it in just a hair. I think that's pretty, pretty good. Just lift it on the inner corner a bit. Nice. Very nice. Gives just a little extra thickness to the lash line, but not these crazy, super, super long if you don't feel confident or comfortable with that, but you just want some extra thickness that, you know, five layers of mascara won't provide. This is the trick. And then we're gonna use that um, NYX pen, the other side, to sort of fill in on the inner corner. Okay, I'm going in. I mean, it might help if I turned it to the magnifying side. <sighs> Jeez Louise. Well, that one was easier. <laughs> Nothing like a magnifier. <laughs> you know, we can deny it all we want. <laughs> but life just tells you the truth. All right. Happy with that. Okay. Back to the next two timer. Let's now find the pen side. What we're gonna do, go in on the inner corner, okay? And just fill in right around the lash line. That way it blends. Can't quite tell where the strip starts and your lashes end. And then do a little on top, just sort of thicken and pull it out. ever so slight, not too thick, and mainly just the outer part of this. That's it. All right. And if there are any areas that need cleaning, you can just lightly, lightly touch it with your concealer. I think I have fallen in love with the new concealer. Just saying. Awesome sauce. And you can't beat the price. Powder time. 
Okay, so ColourPop, um, this is their no filter setting powder and I got it in translucent. Let's see, does it have one of those thingamajiggers I need to pull up? Voila! And it doesn't come with anything. You can use a brush, a puff, whatever you like. Puff the magic dragon, if that's your thing. Um, uh, let's see, I normally use a puff. I'll just take my big Laura Mercier puff. It's a translucent powder, so it's not gonna do anything. And we're just gonna set with this. And I also need to just set a tiny, tiny bit right here under the eye. Let's go on to, now I, I have high hopes for this because normally I do contour, highlight and all of that, but this kit by ColourPop called Just a Flush, Just a Flush, look at this. It's got, it's got kind of a contour color in here and then a peachy color, a pink, and then a little highlighter. So I was really drawn to this pink and I was drawn to the contour. I don't know if it's deep enough. We're gonna find out. I should have had all of my brushes on standby. All right, let's see, um, let's see what this contour does first because that's what I normally would do. Just kind of go in. Um, I'd say for me, it's a little on the light side. I kind of prefer a little more contour, but you know what? I'm just gonna keep building and see what I get here. I mean, if you like a little bit of contour and not a heavy look, then this is right up your alley. It's a very natural. Okay, so for the blush, we are definitely going to use the pink color. And that's going to sit up high. Nice, pretty pink. Goes really well with the um, eyeshadow color. So that was my hope. Okay, so now <laughs> there is this super sparkly color and I'm a little concerned. Oh my gosh, that is so iridescent. Yeah, if you love iridescent, you're gonna love this, but I think this is just a little too, yeah. Just super sparkly. This is great if you want a super shiny, sparkly look, but nothing about this look today is that. So I'm going to mix the super sparkly for the lips. It's this uh, Makeup Revolution Lip Contour Kit Ultra Matte Finish in Queen. And it comes with a lip liner and a matte lipstick. I wanted to go for a full matte look. I'm always a little weary of matte because it can be a little too drying. So I did buy a lip gloss as an extra if I feel I need it. But let's go ahead and try Queen, shall we? And see what we think. It's a super soft, kind of pale pink. very light. Ooh, I feel like I'm kind of channeling the 1960s here. I might want the lip gloss. Okay, I'm making two executive decisions. First of all, I need to have a little bit more warmth and contour. So I'm bringing in this e.l.f. contour palette that I bought from my previous drugstore makeup tutorial. And I'm going to use the deeper shade and just warm it up a little bit. To figure Valentine's, you know, what was going on was looking great for day, but Valentine's is a little bit more of a nighttime experience. Um, so we're just going to deepen it a hair. 
Okay, I'm already happier with that. And I'm going to add this Milani lip gloss because I just, I, I'm just one of those people. I need a little something, something. This is their Keep It Full um, Nourishing Lip Plumper in 04 Luminoso. So I'm just gonna add a little kick of this. I still like the pale shade of it all, but I just love having a little bit of a gloss on my lips. So, okay, drugstore makeup. This eye palette, you guys, this eye palette is so great. So great. Foundation, concealer, amazing. Um, could have gone a little bit deeper in the lip color, but that's okay. I'm gonna do the pale thing. The lip gloss is great. Okay, let's pull it all together, get the hair going and um, something pink and we'll see Valentine's. Okay, there you have a soft pink Valentine's look from Ulta, $20 or under. I would say the only thing or things I would do different is probably go with a bit brighter shade of a lipstick. I first bought the lipstick and then I went to Target and I bought the top. And I should have done it the other way because <laughs> then I would have picked the lipstick to match the top. But that's okay because I will get more wear out of a pale pink lipstick than I would out of a bright pink lipstick. So it's all right, not everything has to be matchy matchy. Um, obviously the other thing was I needed a deeper contour, but that's because my skin is a little bit darker and I just felt that I needed some depth. The other thing that I did quickly add while I was changing is um, NYX Nude Truffle Lip Pencil. I love a little bit of a shadow border around my lips. And so I just kind of went in here and smudged a little bit below and a little bit above for a shadow border um, outside of what the lip liner did. Other than that, that's it. Um, I look like I'm ready to go have brunch with the girls. Um, so anyway, I hope you found this to be helpful. Um, I did not want to do an over the top type of a Valentine's look. I have done those in the past. I can put links to previous Valentine's makeup tutorials that have bright red lips if you wanna do that. Um, I, like I said earlier, I just find the older I get, the less makeup I wear, the more subdued the colors are, the better I look. Um, and you know, people always said that as you get older, you need less makeup. And when I was in my forties, I was like, wait, what? How can that be? More is more. <laughs> but you know what? Less is more. Um, figuring that out. But I'm so happy with these new discoveries and everything linked below in the description. Click more underneath. Follow me on social media. I love to have a good time with you guys there, engage in a completely different way and share content similar but unique at the same time. And as you saw in the technology video, please subscribe to this channel, enable all notifications so that you'll get an email every time I release a video, which is Thursday, 1 p.m. Central Standard. But I wish you an amazing Valentine's Day. I hope you have fun. I hope you have a good time. Enjoy the process and I'll see you next Thursday. Bye.